What's up guys? Welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga video. This is level 38, No Snoke Without Fire Free Play. I'm HTG Brian and I'll be guiding you through finding all five mini kits, all three challenges, and of course, giving you some tips on how to get that true Jedi status. That's right, all six Kyber bricks will be accounted for by the time you get done with this video. And I want to point out, we actually got one of the challenges, Supreme Loser, defeat all of the Praetorian Guards within five minutes. Now, I probably said that name wrong, but just know that you got to get your cha-cha-cha-cha on at the end of this video to go ahead and glide through that. Now, if you didn't get it, we've got a timer that we've got attached to our screen once we get there, and we'll show you that you can actually grab a mini kit, complete another challenge, and finish the challenge within five minutes. Oh, actually, I get it at just over four minutes, so, I mean, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but no, I'm just saying, it, it can be done. It can be done. All right, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and toggle over to episodes. Choose episode eight, The Last Jedi, and of course, so we're going to scroll down to No Snoke Without Fire, which you can see that one challenge I've just mentioned has been co -co complete. So, uh, but don't worry, we're going to show you where it is and when it is and what it is so you can get it too. All right, we'll go ahead and jump right in. And of course, you're going to want to choose free play so you have access to all the characters. But ironically, the game should load you in with preset characters. In fact, you should be Kylo Ren and Rey should right, be right behind you in handcuffs. We're going to actually toggle over to Rey and walk up to one of the stormtroopers and actually give him a quick dance lesson. That's right. Cha, cha, cha. Now, once this happens, you might notice that we sort of get uh, picked up and removed. That is actually Kylo Ren restraining us. We need to do this three times in order to get the challenge called You're Embarrassing Me. And in fact, uh, it's like one of the easier ones right at the beginning. And boo ya ka shao. I am done did. Now, I know it shows I've got two of the three challenges, but just keep in mind we got that Praetorian Guard takedown challenge at the end, Supreme Loser, in our story run, but we will cover that. I know I've been flapping a lot about that, but it's sort of important. It's kind of a, it's a one of the most challenging challenges. But if you know what to do and how to do it, it's actually pretty easy peasy. All right, now I was actually trying to avoid this far end group of guys here. I, I always like to clear the area before I get my collectibles just because I don't like any unexpected, uh, you know, surprises with like being attacked or knocked off or whatever the case may be. So uh, we do this in a lot of our videos in our Uncharted series and our Sniper Elite and Zombie Army series. We always go ahead, take all, all the bad guys and then return for easy collecting. Now, uh, I do have a tip, too. It's actually slow going on this level while using Kylo Ren and Rey. But if you switch to another character, you can actually go normal speed. So we're going to do that once we complete this false-based mini mission here. It's sort of like a little mini game. you got to spin to win. Not once, not twice, but thrice. That's right. There are three wheels, one on the left, one in the back wall, and, of course, one on the right. Once we spin to win, it should actually puke out a mini kit from this box that I'm actually standing on. Probably not quite the game of catch he was hoping for, but in the end, we get that mini kit. Woo to the hoo. All right, so first one, da -da done did. Now we're just going to make our way down the hallway here. But as I already mentioned, we're going to actually switch to a character that isn't one of these two. Because as soon as you get to any other character, your speed increases tremendously. However, it sort of backfires on me later because I do switch back to Ray, but she's like way back there. Oh boy. So I don't know. You guys decide how you want to handle it. Uh, definitely can switch characters like Boba Fett could have been toggled to another force wielding character because we do need the force in order to open these doors. Force the doors open. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and do that right now. Inside, on the left hand side, we actually have some goo bricks, which is why I toggled back to Ray versus actually selecting another character, but that's a whole nother, uh, I guess, just option for you to choose how you wants to do. In this particular case, you need to blast the ghoul brick. It's gonna go ahead and lower this weird mechanism that turns out to be like a shooting game. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot counterclockwise as it just seems to be easier to get it all in one go. Whoop! All right, so we got it done, did it. As we go ahead and wait for that mini kit to pop out, we're going to shoot some things in the back here just because we want to make that true Jedi status much easier. Now, there is a purple stud up here, much like the last couple of levels. We'll show you where it is. That's going to certainly help you, especially if you got that 2x stud multiplier because we need, uh, what, 95k to get that true Jedi status. So uh, having 20,000 in one pickup, that's going to definitely be helpful. 
But look at me, I'm just blasting anything and everything. And don't forget, too, these guys by, uh, you know, rapid succession here, you can get your combo maker up there, and it'll reward you with extra studs and help you with uh, your multipliers, too, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, good to go. All right, next up, we got another door on the left-hand side of the hallway. It's really easy, especially if you got the collectible detector on. You can really see which way you need to go. This is a little bit trickier minigame, though. In fact, there is a device on the right here that's not quite attached. We're going to go ahead and use a character with the Force, and for some reason, Ray is not able to connect to that, so I'm going to toggle her over to somebody else here. In fact, it looks like I chose Kylo. And now I'm just going to slap that piece into place on the high right side. Like I said, it's there, but it's not connected. So connect it. It should make that flap mechanism drop down. You can use the force to move what is some sort of like fuse or power barrel. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use the force again. And basically, you just got to switch that power mechanism to open the, and close the different flaps. And so you can see I move it over to the left-hand side. I move the, the device all the way up to where I can't go anymore pop that power module off. I'm probably confusing the crap out of you with how I'm explaining this. <laughs> but basically, you just move it and uh, or lose it, right? No, I'm just kidding. You got you to just get it all the way to the end. Plug it in, plug it in. And once you do, look at that. It pops open the door, and we'll collect that mini kit because we got room for more. All right, next up, more studs. Let's go. We're actually going to make our way down the hallway and to the big final door that opens up into what's, I don't know if this is like a hangar bay area or what we want to call this, but you need a character to grapple down on the right, and then it's going to really just show that the door's broken, which requires us the, to use the false. Use it to open the door, and outside on the left-hand corner, there's actually a purple stud, so I recommend taking a quick peek over there. If you got the stud attract on, it should slurp it right up, and look at that. True Jedi Stati, we good to go. Now, before making your way and following along with the story progress, you're going to want to pull out your favorite astromech. For us, it just happened to be BB-8, who was preloaded in our level set. So we're going to go ahead and use him. Now, I do toggle over to Django Fett to get out and over, which is not necessary. It's an extra step. I, I, I'm not sure why I did it, to be honest with you. I, I kind of forget sometimes that BB-8 and R2 can grapple. And uh, as soon as I switch characters, I'm like, what am I doing? I don't need to do this. But grapple up top, get to the astromech panel number two, and of course, complete it from the inside out again. This is actually going to open the little device to our right there and give us access to that final mini kit before we get into the battle royale. Because so basically the final mini kit, the final final one is in the battle with Snope, which isn't really a battle with Snope at all. It's more of the guards. But uh, we're almost there. We basically just need to go to the end here. And there's another broken door, which requires us to carve out a panel on the right there. And then we're going to have to remove the fuse that's busted in that whole little mechanism that we're going to reveal. Then we got to pull out another fuse. So we got to turn out the lights in the kitchen, which actually causes quite the turmoil. It's kind of a funny little cutscene. And once we do that, we can pop the fuse out from the kitchen and bring it over here and open the door, which will give us an elevator ride upstairs to the final battle where we get the last two challenges completed and, of course, that final mini kit, too. All right, jump up, grapple, and pull that fuse out. Here's that scene I was talking about. Oh, no, who turned out the lights? Uh oh, fire. <laughs> that is not looking very productive in there. Good thing I am not in there. It's like that, uh, there's that show on TV right now, The Rat in the Kitchen. I feel like we were the rat in this scenario. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and pop that fuse into place. And once it is, it opens the door and gives us a nice ride up, which will cue a cutscene that, of course, has been removed. All right, so once we ride this bad boy up top, you're going to notice that the challenge three is presented, but don't focus on that. Worry about mini kit number five. As soon as we gain control of Ray, we're going to sort of backpedal and walk over towards the backside of Snoke's chair because the final mini kit is hiding behind there. So once you swoop that up, focus on taking these bad guys out. I know it says challenge three there, but that's not because of anything other than a quick reminder that you have to take all these guys out in five minutes or less. Once I take the first guard down, which I do not believe you can actually successfully complete the total destruction challenge, I don't I, because of this animation, watch how this happens. I don't think you can knock a guy down a hole. 
Once you toggle to Kylo Ren, though, now that you have control of Kylo, you should be able to manipulate this battle so that the guy's back is towards the shaft. Giggity. Now, you can do this a couple of different ways. Wait for them to attack and then move the camera around or simply just try to maneuver it so that you are looking at him with his back towards the outer room. No, I'm just kidding. We got we got the giant hole here. I give him the cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. This is a pretty tedious challenge. It can take multiple attempts. However, if you get up close and personal and sort of pin them up against the little barrier wall there, it should knock him down in. And you picked up that other mini kit. The last thing you gotta do here is simply take these bad guys down in five minutes or less. Now, I mentioned that I had a timer in the bottom right-hand corner. You could probably see it ticking away. We've got a lot of meters to depleter before we get to the end. But I assure you, this challenge is very doable as long as you are, well, pretty well-versed in being aggressive with your attacks, but also getting the timing right to avoid their attacks. You can see here I'm doing dodge maneuvers left and right and doing backflips too. The reason for that is if you get hit, you get knocked down, and that time it takes to get back up and get back into the battle is going to be crucial. Now, I believe I get knocked back eh, a couple times, maybe once or twice, and at the end of this challenge, I actually still have almost a full minute left. So there's a little bit of leeway for mistakes, but honestly, not a lot. When I did my first run, my scouting run, I actually completed it in about four minutes and 45 seconds. So I, I don't know if I just did much better this time or if uh, I was a little more efficient with my collecting and knocking Buddy back. To be honest with you, I think I spent a bunch of time on the first character uh, or the first baddie with Ray, And uh, I think that was what kind of slurped up most of my time. But in the end, like I said, it might be easier for you guys to do, you know, one challenge at a time versus trying to pin them both. But it is very possible to do them both. You can see I've only got three more baddies here, and this guy's just about done dead. We just need to lock up and spam, 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 spam. You know, and on a side note here, well, I've got a little bit of time to kill, because uh, uh, you can't save and exit this one. You have to actually defeat all these guards in order to get the challenge. Now, I guess if you already got it in story, like we did, you could save and exit. But uh, what I was getting at is that free roam is right around the corner. In fact, uh, after this video, we've got, what, seven free play videos left? And then we'll be jumping into the free roam. I just want to point out that things are going to change a little bit. Our release schedule is going to slow down. There will not be two videos per day expected, mainly because those free rooms are huge. Also, because once we get done with the free play, we are going to be returning to our regular or close to regular stream schedule, because that's something that's been put totally on hold. And it's kind of funny because streaming was sort of uh, initiated because we were out of projects. There was no Lego games for a while, but now we got a Lego game and we put it all on hold. And so now we're going to try to get the best of both worlds releasing some free roams while doing streams as well. Look at that, Kylo was excited for that whole plan, so hopefully you are too. All right, pulling back into Hoth. I mean, we don't have a whole, as I just mentioned, we're only gonna be doing this about seven more times and then we are out of here. To be honest with you, uh, we've got a special route that we will be taking thanks to Tyler P's guidance and uh, it does not start with Hoth. So we will take off and then be back at some other point. But hey, let's check out the totals real quick. We uh, needed 95,000 in order to get that true Jedi status. We got that and then some. In fact, we've actually crossed the 5 million mark, which again, is going to be problematic later choosing which other stud multiplier we buy. But we got all three of the challenges. As previously mentioned, the Supreme Loser was completed in story for us. We snagged the other two along the way and also redid that challenge we got in story, even though we didn't get an on-screen prompt. We did it. We got all five of those mini kits building up the tie silencer. Silence. Shh. Silence. I kill you. <laughs> Anyways, moving along, we'll go ahead and call that good for level 38. No Snoke without fire free play. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click that like button down below. As for me, though, that's going to do it. As always, until next time.